Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower. Hmm... You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. So I ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass off an opportunity like this? Die. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them.
To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. My child, do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. 
I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbon. No reason in particular. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. said you could push me around. Hmm? Oh, you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? All right, how's this? Hmm? Huh? That was the wrong direction? Okay, okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? <laughs> huh? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Call it Dapper Bloke. Do you like it? Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. 
Oh, I- I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Uh, Ribbit, I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful. Or a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. Uh, there are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up. But do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Legion! We are Legion! A long time. Aya. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home.
skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. Already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? What? Uh, this... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Ascor, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive.
What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. me that way. Go away. to go home, but... But please... Go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. <laughs> no, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small. Once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave... Please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die. And you'll die. Until you tire of trying, what will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs>